located on Route 24 in Lewis. To place your deli or carryout orders, call 302-945-0700. All right, here we go. Question of the day to Zier, Bill, and Jess. My friend recently called me crying, saying that the guy she'd been dating on and off for five years wants to, quote, step back in the relationship. Take a step back, okay? I told her to just drop him and focus on herself and prepare herself for the man that God has for her. Mm-hmm. Okay, it mm-hmm. seems like good advice, right? All right. I mean, um, five years, it's a long time. So what's going on? I don't know what else to tell her. She's still being hopeful that it doesn't mean he's breaking up. I've tried to support her through this, but it's draining because she won't snap oh, out of it. Right, right, right. Please help. She's one of those where, like, they ask you for advice, but they really don't want it. Nah, <laughs> nah, nah, nah. They're going to do what they want anyway. I think we've all. But they still come to you, talk to you, say the same thing over and over and over again. And no matter what advice you give them, they're still doing what they want. They really don't want your advice. They just want to hear you talk. Yeah. Hey, look, they just want somebody. They want an ear. And they want you to tell them what they want to hear. Yes. You know? And who knows? Maybe you might say something that triggers one time. Who knows? They're worried. They they don't want the advice to just let it go or break up because they're worried of what the answer is going to be. Right. But five years is a long time. So there must be something going on when someone after five years says, let's take a break. I want to step back. I don't. Taking a break and stepping back means I don't want to be with you. I don't want to be this serious. Look, I'm here to tell you. Let's take it slow. You know what I mean? After five years, uh, uh, let's take it slow. Something's going on. Let me tell you something, y'all. And look, sometimes they call me the relationship expert. Uh Uh-oh. Sometimes Uh they don't. But look, (laughs) here's my advice to you. When someone says... We need a break. Let's take a break. Or we need to yeah. slow down. Let's take it slow. The word break in any other circumstance means take a little pause and we'll come back. After five years, if someone but says. But the word, the, the definition break. of break means take a little pause and we'll come mm. back to it. Because eventually you will come back to it. When it's a relationship. This is moving too fast. That is a nice way of saying we're done. I don't want to be with you. Right. When someone says, hey, let's slow down or let's pause. In any other circumstance, (laughs) pause means you hit pause on the game and you will come back. (laughs) Or slowing down means let's slow down now and then start picking up the pace later. In a relationship... It means we're done. That is a nice way, especially five years of in. saying to you, "I don't." They don't want to just say, "Get the hell out! I'm over it. I don't want to be with you anymore." They don't want to say that. They're too scared to say it, or they just don't want to, you know, hurt your feelings or whatever. They're too much of a wimp There's to say it. There's history there. Yeah, no, they they don't want to do that. They they're saying that so they can kind of let let you off let easy. Let you off slow, nice yeah. and easy. So that's the advice that. I know about no, that. I can now, go along with that. When yeah. someone, I mean, after five years, you're in a relationship. And it doesn't say, matter how many. It, it could be five weeks. Let's take a break. Let's separate. If somebody has, they, says that after five weeks, this. five days, if they say those words, pause, take a break, slow down. That me, Now, sometimes slow down when you first start. Okay, fine. But that just means I'm not ready for this. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's a bit much. But. Really, the part the part of the email was she needs help on how to deal with her friend being annoying. <laughs> Just be a friend. Mm-mm-mm. He's done with it. Sugar Bar is here for you. Hey, Sugar Bar. 302-858-5117. Again, uh, my friend recently called me crying, saying the guy she'd been dating on and off for five years wants to, quote, step back in the relationship. He wants to break. He's breaking up with her. He wants to step back. That, he's breaking up. That's it. I told her drop it and focus on uh, herself and prepare herself for the man God has for her. That was good advice. Yeah, yeah. That was a nice, good, you know, friendly advice. I don't know what else to tell her. There's nothing else you can tell her. Mm-hmm. Now you just sit there and listen. Mm-hmm. She's uh, still being hopeful that it doesn't uh, mean he's breaking up. Well, it does. She doesn't want to hear that right now, but it does. Mm-hmm. He is. He just broke up with her. Mm-hmm. When he says he wants to step back, that means... Not stepping back, but still there. No. She she ain't in our, within arm distance of him he anymore. Wants to take a break, separate. He wants step back. N- no, he doesn't want it. He wants to be done. He's he's done with he's, it. 
you know, trying to word it. I've tried to support her through this, but it's draining me because she just wants that. Have you ever had a friend that just, you just talk to about a broken up relationship or a relationship problem, but it just drains you? It just wears you. I don't know. I mean, not recently, but I'm sure. Tamika texted in. She needs time to heal, but may have to find someone else to talk to about it since you find it draining. You're allowed to protect your mental health, but you aren't allowed to tell her how to grieve and heal from this process. Right, right. I agree with that. Uh, Wayne says, wow, the man does a stand-up thing by telling her he needs to step back and you are still bashing him without knowing how the relationship was. Instead, could have created on her on a strug her along smh no he he should have just said he's done Mm -hmm. don't say he wants to step back Mm -hmm. i know nobody's bashing him like he was trying to like let her off easy felicia says if you must prepare yourself for encounters with her everyone knows um you know who knows me i'm quite firm but i don't mind lending an ear change the subject when she brings it up in your presence and offer uh, to return the call another time if you're on the phone. Mm. Okay. Okay. Jennifer says, imagine spending five years building something and then it potentially crumbles and you're expected to snap out of it. That's five years of her life that she cannot get back to let her mourn. So let her mourn the loss, the potential broken promises, etc. It won't last forever. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I agree with that. Yeah, it won't. Five years is like a, a forever when you're yeah. in a relationship. When you're with somebody every day, mm-hmm. maybe she lived with him. Who knows? But he yeah. wants to step back. That means he's breaking. He he, he just broke up with her. Mm-hmm. That's it. Yep. And that's the way he did it. And it's the hardest yeah. thing ever. And she probably don't know what to do with herself. She don't even know how to be alone. Mm. Yeah, because she's been in that routine. That's it. That's her life. Yeah. That is. Her. You could say, oh, it's only five years. No, five years is a lifetime. <laughs> I mean, it's a long time. You know, when you're with somebody every day, every day. Again, you want to comment 302 858 5117. Maybe you've been in that situation before where, you know, you have a friend who just got a, a breakup and you're trying to protect your mental health and you're mm-hmm. like, it's draining. Mm-hmm. You've been that friend to lend an ear. Right, you're just and you don't know how to deal with the friend. Advice, but they keep keep at it. How do you deal with that? Or maybe you're the one who got the breakup. Yeah. Maybe somebody broke up with you, and they've. What are some easy ways? But you knew what they really meant. Mm-hmm. I want to take a break. I need to back off. It's not you. Let's it's take me. It slow. No, that, that's all. We're done. That's what that means. We're yeah. done. And stop being a punk and saying that kind of stuff. Just end it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 302 858 5117. It's the Bill and Jessica show. Here's Anita.